Kristen Hess here with eDining News. I'm here at Valentino's on the Green in Bayside, Queens, and today we're going to meet the chef, Jimmy Canora. Yeah. We're going to prepare for you today chicken breast Valentino, which is a take on chicken bevel stock, which is chicken, uh, boneless chicken breast. Uh, laid with prosciutto and fontina cheese and parmigiano reggiano, pounded out thinly. Here at Valentino's, we start with whole chickens, of course, uh, because uh, we use every part of it. I want to have some nice dice of fresh leeks that I'm going to get in there. Is it something you do when you put the leeks and the mushrooms in, something by feel, or is it? A, are you trying to do some exacting recipe? No, you know what? You can do some. You can do as many mushrooms as you want. You can you, a lot of mushrooms. I'm just doing a moderate amount of okay. mushrooms. And get that going. Now these have already let out their liquid. You see, the mushrooms are all water. They're going to let out their liquid. You're going to let that liquid absorb a little bit. You're going to take your Madeira wine and you're going to pour that in there. And that's going to flame up just a bit. Okay. And you're cooking that down, right? You want to cook the alcohol out. Okay. And we'll just do a little bit more. And alcohol is part of the fire in the uh, sauce. Oh, alcohol causes fire. Wash your hair. We're going to singe. Okay, you're going to reduce that a little bit. And you're going to take this as a mix. I have a chicken stock and veal stock. Now, if you don't have chicken stock and veal stock at home, you can use a low-sodium collagen chicken broth and a low-sodium beef broth. You just do a little mix. Get that in there. Okay. You're going to just finish, tighten that up with another tablespoon of butter. Okay. Another minute. Season that with a little salt and pepper. I have right here. Just always make sure you season things. Okay. That's just about ready. I do a little taste. Wow, outstanding. You're good. <laughs> outstanding. Put your little bit of polenta on the plate and some little bit of roasted spring vegetables and you have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm doing great. What a beautiful day. Welcome to Valentino's. Thank you very much. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about you and your background? Okay, well, my name is Jimmy Canora, James, for people that don't know me. Um, I've been cooking since I'm 12 years old. I grew up in a, in a family business, catering, Italian food, supermarkets. Been rolling meatballs since I'm 12 years old. Always loved, uh, well, from that point, I knew I loved food. Uh, just want, wanted to get into more restaurant-style cooking much later in life. I did go to school. Uh, probably I was about 20-something years old when I finally went to school. and. Um, was the Art Institute of Manhattan. So besides Italian, what is your other favorite food? And what do you like to cook when you're at home? Well, if, if it wasn't Italian food, I'm gonna have to say Asian or sushi I love when I go out. At, at home, I'm gonna make myself comfort food or Italian food. When I go out, it's gonna be Thai or Asian or, uh, you know, so a nice big dish of sushi I love. Uh, Everyone loves a big old hamburger and twelve o'clock <laughs> at night and nice cheeseburger, That's right. mac and cheese and comfort food after after uh, night out with the boys drinking. You know, yeah. But uh, pretty much, you know, nothing over the top. Well, thank you for your time. It's been a great conversation, You're and we look forward welcome. to eating with you at Valentino's. It was a pleasure talking to you.